Contrary to popular belief, there's really no shortage of native Linux games. In fact, there are so many native Linux games that I'm still discovering new ones and I've been gaming on Linux for like seven years now. Now in a recent Linux game review I did, a fellow YouTuber named AirspeedMPH told me about this game called Frozen Bubble. Now the name sounded vaguely familiar, but I don't think I played this one before. In the software repositories, the description simply says, cool game where you pop out the bubbles. Okay. So I downloaded the game, fired it up, and... Wow. Now I've heard some really good music in open source games. Up until this point, I think the best music I've heard in an open source game was Rocks and Diamonds. But after hearing Frozen Bubble, man, this soundtrack is incredible. Now, it was developed back in 2001 by a single guy. The first version of the game was developed in Perl, which is interesting because Perl isn't exactly a language that you think of when it comes to game development. The game was eventually ported to Java so it could run on any platform that Java could run on. So technically, you could run this game on Windows, Mac, and even Android. Now, everything about this game screams simplicity, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, except for when it's too simple. Like take for example changing the key bindings. There's not really an interface for changing your key bindings. It just brings up this little prompt and follow the directions. Oh, whoops, I screwed that one up. Unfortunately, I don't remember what the defaults are. So if you change your key bindings and you screw it up, I think you're screwed. The graphics settings are really simple too. You've got three settings. Totally pixelated, kind of pixelated, or crystal clear. I think it's pretty cool. There's also a level editor, which is really cool. The overall gameplay is pretty straightforward, I think. If you've played any sort of bubble popping game like this, the rules are probably all the exact same. You shoot the bubbles at other clusters of bubbles that are the same color, and once you have three or more in a group, they pop, and once the board is clear, you win. As the game goes on, the bubbles on the top get pushed lower and lower, and if they touch the bottom of the board, you lose. The game has a split screen option, which is really cool, and it also has a LAN option, so you can play online with up to four or five people. Now that is sweet. Now I've already talked about how awesome the music is, and the sound effects are pretty darn good too. There's not really a lot going on in the game, so there's really not very many sound effects, but there doesn't have to be. The sound effects for shooting the bubbles is satisfying, the sound effects for the bubbles landing is satisfying, and the sound effects for the bubbles popping is satisfying. The graphics also look great for this kind of game. Now the original version of Frozen Bubble was released in 2002, and the graphics have remained mostly the same. I'd say for their era, they look pretty darn good. When you're in-game, you have a penguin off to the side that's moving a little lever, which is really cool. I think that the overall art style is pretty interesting, and the tuxes that you see here look a whole hell of a lot better than the tux that you see in Tux Racer. And these games were released at around the same time. I really enjoyed playing this game, and it's always nice finding a high quality open source Linux game in your software repositories. If you're like me and you've never played Frozen Bubble, or if you played it a long time ago and forgot about it, you should definitely pick this one up.